Hi, I'm Travis Minier. And I'm Claire Cobb. And we're going to tell you today about the scour or quadrant test for the hip. It's a dynamic test of both the inner and outer quadrant of the hip in which it could possibly exacerbate pain. Uh, pain can result from the compression or stress of the articular surface of the hip joint, uh, the labrum, hip capsule, muscular insertions of the tensor fascia lata, sartorius, pectineus, adductor longus, or iliopsoas, uh, stress to the femoral neck, or possibly stress or strain to the neurovascular bundle. This test is indicated for any patient that comes in with complaints of pain within the hip joint. It's contraindicated or used with precaution for those with hip fracture, a previous diagnosis of hip osteoarthritis or osteoporosis, as well as a hip replacement. In this test, a positive finding is any pain, apprehension, or resistance within the arc of motion. A negative finding would be no pain or reproduction of the patient's symptoms, and the hip flows through a smooth arc within the joint. Evidence regarding the scour test is significantly lacking. This is due to poor study designs and also inconclusive results. It's possibly also due to the wide range of diagnoses that we covered previously, making it more of a nonspecific test. So now we'd like to show you how to do the test. Safety first. Wash your hands. You're going to have your patient lying supine in a relaxed position. You're going to take the hip up to approximately 90 degrees. And you're first going to take the hip into adduction until you see the pelvis come off of the table. At this point, I'm going to put compression, long, long axis compression through the femur into the acetabulum, in which the head of the femur will be making more of the compressive forces there, um, possibly touching more on the labrum or hip capsule. And then as I do this, I'm going to put a compression force all the way through until I bring the hip into abduction with the compression force all the way through checking with my patient to see if they have any pain or, or exacerbation of symptoms. That is how Dutton has described the test to be done. There's also variations in which you could put the long axis compression in a 90-90 uh, position, and, and this time you're going to move the hip into both internally and ex, in, into internal and external rotation. So you can press through, and you can internally or externally and internally rotate the hip. It's also, you can also see other clinicians in other textbooks that would say that you can compress the hip and go into both a little bit of adduction and extension, adduction and flexion, adduction, or adduction and extension, adduction and flexion. The main, the main purpose of this, of this test is so that you're putting compressive forces on the femoral head into the acetabulum and, and testing all the different quadrants. Travis? Hi. So today I hear you have been um, having some pain in your hip, is that correct? Yep. Okay, so what we're going to do today is I'm going to do a special test, it's called the scour test, and it's going to help me see that if it reproduces the same symptoms that you've been having, it's going to help me be able to diagnose what's going on in your hip. Okay. So in a minute, I'll have you lay down on your back, and I'm going to have your leg with me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some pressure on your leg through your knee. You don't have any knee issues, do you? No. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll bring you through some motions, and I just want you to tell me if it reproduces the same symptoms that you've been experiencing, okay? Okay. All right. So first, what I want to ask, though, is make sure that this test is okay for you. So have you ever had a hip fracture anywhere? Mm. Have you ever had um, osteoarthritis or osteoporosis? No. Nope. Okay, and you've never had a hip replacement, correct? Yes. Nope. Okay. So go ahead and lay down for me. I'm just going to quickly wash my hands. Okay. So I'm going to grab your knee here. My hands are a little cold. I apologize. That's okay. All right. We bring you in, and now I'm just going to put some pressure on you here, okay? Do you feel all right? Mm -hmm. All right. And just let me know if you feel any pain. Like you've been experiencing? No. No? Feels okay. Okay, and I don't 
feel any resistance or apprehension during the arc of motion, so I would call this a negative scour test. 